Good evening. And uh, welcome to our second annual Closing the Excellence Gap Summit, which is graciously sponsored by the Jack Kent Cook Foundation. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to the Jack Kent Cook Foundation for believing in us and believing in this dream. So thank you to the Jack Kent Cook Foundation. And also, I'd like to say a special thanks to uh, my friend and mentor, uh, Harold Levy. He is very supportive and he, you know, he's, um, he'll get an idea in his head and he says, you know, you need to think about this. And then the next thing you know, it just becomes a realized, uh, 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 at real thing. And so he's, 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 he's very good like that. But I would also like to attribute, um, he, he is a New Yorker. And uh, the governor who is coming is from Delaware. So, those small stats, you know, New Yorkers, we just rip right through certain things. So we just wanted to, just a little correction, which was the governor who's coming is Jack Markell, uh, who is going to uh, be speaking. But um, I wanted to just say thank you to Jack Kent Cook, thank you to Harold for believing in us and actually um, saying this is something that, uh, you know, you have, that's important to um, Jack Kent Cook, but is important to you as well. So again, thank you. And I also would like to say thank you to you. We have more principals who came this year, so thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules. We are all practitioners, we're all at the school level, and we know that it's very, very busy. But you thought about coming, and you came again, and um, you obviously think this is important. And it does help that Jack Kent Cook did foot the bill. So that is great. <laughs> it, is, it is great that they definitely supported us to sponsor and fund this thing. But we really thank you for taking the time to come and um, believing in the mission of the organization, which is to advocate for uh, our high achieving low income students um, and that all students succeed regardless of their income and how we uh, can prepare them for their future. Um, last year, we came together and for this conference, and it was with the intent to form a coalition and to advocate for our two goals, as I said, which is to advocate for high-achieving low-income students and to strengthen the school-to-workforce pipeline. Now, from that convening, we also took a survey, and we listened to what you said. We, we spoke to many of you, and um, we used that to base this conference on. So I want to say thank you for your feedback. And there will be another survey, so please, please fill it out because we do like to hear from you. And from that convening and from the feedback was the birth and the official launch of the Class Coalition, which is a coalition for leaders of advanced student success. Now over the past year, we've been quite busy. I'd like to share with you what we've done. Submitted a grant to the Jack Kent Cook Foundation to help fund and launch the organization. Partnered with the Podesta Group, one of the top lobbying and public affair firms in Washington to assist with the establishment of the 501c3 organization, the development of a logo, a brand, a website, and related PR efforts to introduce the class coalition to an audience of education leaders and media formed a board of directors whom you will meet soon, visit legislators on the Hill, advisors to the White House, and participated in many other events, including the National Governors Association Summer Meeting to connect class coalition to policymakers. Harold talked about how we, uh, the executive board went on the Hill today to Senators Alexander, Murray, Booker, and Gillibrand's offices to speak to some of their staffers. And they're very interested in, the, in our organization and they think that we're a very unique bunch given that we are STEM and non-STEM, college, um, early college magnet, but all high achieving for this goal. And it's very unique, they said, that you have such a group that would advocate for goals, specific goals such as ours. So they encouraged us, gave us some advice, and we are hopeful that in the future we can have fly-ins with all of you. Um,
Now, all of that led us to the official launch of the Class Coalition, which was launched in September of 2015. So we're hopeful that you did receive the uh, media packets and the launch and the information and the website information at that time. Now, I would like to share with you some of the goals of the organization. And the goals of the organization is not only to continue to advocate for our two goals that we mentioned previously, but to serve as a hub for principals. One-stop shopping so that we can come, we talked about best practices. Our schools, we know what good looks like. And we can partner together to learn from each other and to help others in, in, in the nation. Provide resources. So we'd like to uh, make sure that we are providing the scholarships, including, of course, the Jack Kent Cook uh, scholarship, Scholar Scholarship, uh, summer programs, monthly newsletters, webinars, and best practices. If you look on the website now, we have um, our, the board of directors will have their best practices. And we encourage more of you so that when someone does go to our website, they'll get a chance. It's a, it's a, it's a framework which we, can, we would love for you to complete as well. And it can go on the website so when others, business partners and business leaders and legislators and higher ed looks at the organization, they can see what it is that we do. Develop opportunities to engage. Uh, business leaders, which you will see tomorrow, the business reception. Um, Todd will go more into that. Help advance education policy and goals, and that's some of the things that we have been doing over the past year. Communicate latest trends in research impacting students we serve. So uh, Jennifer uh, is uh, leading some of the uh, research from the Jack Kent Cook, but we partner with them. And so when we see that there's another um, trend that we'd like to research, and we actually spoke about it last night, then they assist us and can assist us in finding out what is real, because we'd like to use the data to find out, uh, to make our statement. So they help us along with that. We also would like, or oh, another goal is to utilize the website as a tool for sharing information. And also plant seeds to create future, a future advisory board of business leaders. Another uniqueness about the organization is that if we could just find the perfect sweet spot that would bring together our school leaders, along with legislators, and along with business leaders to come together to talk about how can we create this American ingenuity that's going to prepare our students and our leaders of tomorrow. Because we do have times when legislators say, we still outsource. So you have these top schools, but why are we still outsourcing? What's going on? So if we can all come together and come in these rooms together and, and convene like this to talk about things as such, what a great place to be. And um, we've received advice that said that we are doing something very special and very unique. So I'd like to, again, thank you for coming. Thank you for investing your time in the organization for this purpose. So we have great things that are on the horizon, but this is, again, a very unique, a very unique association, likely one of the nation's only organizations representing principals from top public high schools focused on promoting diversity enhancing opportunities for low-income students, and ensuring graduates are on a path for successful careers in competitive fields. We have a bright future, and we need your support and enthusiasm and continued engagement to really shine on a national stage in years ahead. So again, thank you to you for coming, and we really appreciate you, Jack Kent Cook, and you, of course, my pal, Harold Levy. So now I would like to introduce Todd Mann, Executive Director, who's going to come and let you know more about what we should expect tonight and for the rest of the time we have here. Thank you.